Hello guys. I wish to speak about talents today. One day before the game release. Let's start right away. For a dwarf, you get Dwarven Gill and Sturdy as starting talents. Sturdy is great, it gives plus 2 to strength, not much to say about it. And for Dwarven Gill, you get plus 1 in sneaking, which is actually bad if you want to play a dwarf as a tank. Now, all skilled up is the talent that you should learn immediately if you have a chance gives you one extra combat ability point and one extra civil ability point. It's very useful, it's good for the early game and I would highly recommend it for absolutely every class. Now, uh, Opportunist is very good for tanky characters, melee characters and only take it on them. Not on ranged characters and not on mages, so only on melee. Arrow recovery is quite good for Ifan if you tend to use those stunning arrows, fire arrows, freezing arrows, and all kinds of different arrows that are in the game. You got 33% chance to recover special arrow, arrow after shooting it, but I just don't like it that much. I would rather spend those points somewhere else. It comes with this in his base build, so I didn't pick that. Ingenious is absolutely great. It gives plus 2 to wits and plus 3% to critical. What that means actually, wits increases his critical chance and initiative. And. Plus, on top of that, you gain 3% critical hit chance, so it's very good. Uh, Pet Pal is a must on one character, so you'll be able to speak with animals, so you must have a Pet Pal on one. I would highly recommend to be in Nippon. Thrifty gives you bartering. He comes with that perk talent, so I much to talk about it. Bartering, you buy stuff for lower prices, you sell your stuff for better prices. Backstabber, great on a rogue, it allows you to crit, backstab with daggers and knives. I love it. It's OP in alpha, I guess it's gonna be nerfed full game version. Corpse Eater comes only with Sibyl, as far as I noticed, and you can learn some new spells when you eat body parts, head, arms, legs, and similar. Elegant gives bonus in Finesse, you need Finesse, Finesse is great. It gives you more damage with Finesse based weapons, and chance to dodge. Um, what else do we got? Hothead. I love Hothead. While you're at your maximum vitality, Hothead will grant you 10% critical chance and 10% more accuracy. I would highly recommend it, especially for melee characters. He comes with Hothead as his base talent. The Red Prince. Um, sophisticated spell song. Spell song increases your intelligence by two. Very good for a mage. One plus one to persuasion. That's very good for your main character if you want to play with Red Lizard as your main character. Bigger and better will give you one extra attribute point to spend. That would be here. I wouldn't recommend it. Just. They're way much better stuff than this talent. Comeback Kid is great if you pair it with Morning Person. You'll basically have three lives with one Resurrect Scroll. So I would highly suggest that you have Morning Person and Comeback Kid on all of your characters. This one will revive you. And this one, when you use Resurrect Scroll and Revive, will bring you to your full health. Which basically means, again need to kill you three times. 
Elemental affinity lowers the action point cast of spells by one and standing in the surface of the same element. I haven't tested elemental affinity and I don't like it, to be honest. I don't like what I see here. It seems like a complete waste of a talent point in elemental affinity. Escapist allows you to flee combat even when enemies are right next to you. Only, only for hardcore players that want to play the game on hardest difficulty with one life. And you need to have escapist on that difficulty. There is no other way to play the game. But for regular players, not needed at all. Far Out Man increases the range of spells and scrolls by 2 meters. Can be useful. I wouldn't recommend it because they are better talents, to be honest. 5 Star Dinner doubles the effects of food. Again, I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe on the hardest difficulty, when you actually use all the consumables here. But basically, you don't need 5 Star Dinner. Glass Cannon. You start every combat with maximum action points, but magic and physical armor do not protect you from statuses. This is a bad trade-off. If you want to play like this, just be very careful. And Huntsman could profit from Glass Cannon, maybe a wizard, but that's about it. Just be very careful with this, because... Enemies are not stupid, AI is good, they're gonna target your range characters and wizards. Guerrilla, while sneaking, Guerrilla increases attack damage by 25%. It's very good for Seville, for Rogue, for Scoundrel. And it pairs well with her Source ability. When you deal 500% more damage, well, you sneak. So... If you not get if you do not get spotted when you sneak, Guerrilla will add like how much? With that source point 525% more damage. Ice King, a character with Ice King has an extra 15% water resistance but takes 15% penalty to fire resist. Additionally, the maximum water resistance is raised by 10. This can only be balanced, it requires hydrosophy. It can only be balanced with good itemization, and this could be a good talent, but later on in a game, like level 15, 20 plus. Leech will heal you when standing in blood. Sounds interesting, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think it's a complete waste. You got so many options to heal in this game. You don't need to heal while standing in blood. It's a waste. Mnemonic gives you three extra points in your memory attribute. An absolute must on every character. It's three extra points in memory. It's three extra spell slots, maybe even more. I don't know what they'll do in a full release, but Mnemonic is a great talent. I would highly recommend it on every class. Morning Person, already explained it pairs very well with comeback kit it can be good on its own too of course opportunist gives you we already explained opportunist perimaster gives you 10% dodging while dual wielding good for Sibyl for rogue for scoundrel with dual wielding daggers it's basically gonna add you plus 10% to dodge Already explained Pet Pal, it's a must on one character. Picture of Health gives you extra vitality plus 3% for every point into Warfare. So, for every point that you put in Warfare skill, right here, you'll get 3% more vitality. It can be very good for a tank, and only for a tank. Next, Savage Sortilage. Savage Sortilage give all magical skills a critical chance equal to 50% of the critical chance score. Um, 
you gotta have some very strange hybrid for this. Maybe a Shadow Blade. Uh, he is a mix of necromancy and rogue scoundrel spells. And when you put a lot of points and raise critical chance, maybe you'll also be able to deal crits with your spells. I wouldn't recommend it, not for unexperienced players. It's not that good trade-off, to be honest. So, for example, Sebeel here, she's got 8% critical chance, which basically means that the talent here would give her 4% critical chance on her spells. Next, Slingshot adds an extra 5 meter range to your grenade throws. Good for a tank if you want to throw those grenades out. 5 meters more sounds fine, but again I think there are better talents than this one. Use it if you like to throw bombs. You know what else to say about it. Walk it off reduces all status durations by one turn. This also affects positive statuses. A very bad trade-off and a very good, let's call it buff, buff and debuff at the same time. Just don't go with it, maybe, just maybe with one character, with some tanky character that doesn't need any boosts, you know, doesn't need any buffs. But don't go with, with squishy characters, gonna get one shot at. Water Rush! Increases your recovery and maximum action points by 1. Your health is below 50%. Very useful. And I truly believe that all characters should have Water Rush. It's really very useful. It gives you free action points when you're below 50% of vitality. Zombie lets you heal from poison, but regular healing will damage you instead. I think that the new undead class they're gonna add in a full release will have zombie as a must. So that mechanic for healing with poison will represent a lot of problems, I guess. Demon. A character with demon same as the Ice King, but this applies to fire. So only with good itemization and at later levels it can prove to be good. Duck Duck Goose lets you evade attacks of opportunity. Nice! I don't know what else to say. It's nice, but I still think there are better talents than this one. Elemental Ranger shooting arrows will inflict bonus elemental damage depending on the surface your target is standing in. Good for Huntsman, very good for Huntsman. And maybe you should go with it, to be honest. Executioner is OP as fucking Alpha, but it's gonna be nerfed in a full game release, so I don't know what else to say about it. This is probably the strongest talent in the game. You can put one point into Warfare, put five points into Scoundrel, and then backstabbing, one-shotting, resetting, playing again, and killing everything in one turn. Executioner will be nerfed. One-man army. A character with one-man army receives a scaling bonus to vitality, armor, memory, and other stats, depending on the number of active player characters. Good if you want to go and an absolute must if you want to go with only one character during your playthrough. This is the way to go. Not needed in a full party though. Completely useless. The pawn permits your character one action point worth of free movement per turn. I don't know. It requires Scoundrel, it sounds good, but Scoundrel is already mobile with her spells. So just it, it just not needed, to be honest. Let's see if there is anything else. I think we covered everything. Those would be all the talents. So 
what I wanna say and repeat again, I do believe that all skilled up is very good that for all classes. Now I'm talking for all classes. It's very good for all classes. Comeback kid is very good. Morning person for all classes. Mnemonic for all classes. And after that, you'll need to pick different talents for different classes. But these four are quite good for all characters in the game. Alright, I hope I helped you a bit here with talents. There is... I don't know. This is like 25 talent stops. I haven't counted. But I still think there's gonna be more in a full game release. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.